Wayne Faderman is an American comedian, actor, author, comedy writer, and musician. He is noted for numerous stand-up comedy appearances in clubs, theaters, and on television. A biography of Pistol, Pete Maravich, and supporting comedic acting roles in The X-Files, The Larry Sanders Show. Curb Your Enthusiasm, Community, Legally Blonde, Fifty First Dates, The Forty Year Old Virgin, and Step Brothers. He was the head monologue writer for NBC's Late Night with Jimmy Fallon in its first season. Life in Career, Early Years, 1959-1976 Faderman was born in Los Angeles, one of six children. He grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, and moved to Plantation, Florida at age 10. He played the drums and at age 14 began performing in a band at local weddings. He taught himself ventriloquism and performed at various school functions as well as local churches and service organizations. He delivered his high school sports results on Miami radio station WWOK. He made his local television debut on WPLG's Youth and the Issue Debating the Death Penalty. In 1976, Faderman worked as an extra in John Frankenheimer's Black Sunday, shot at the Miami Orange Bowl, New York City, 1977 to 1986. In the fall of 1977, Faderman was accepted into the Tisch School of the Arts at New York University. There he studied with legendary acting coach Stella Adler. He performed his own show, Comedy Tonight, at the Eisner and Lubin Auditorium, with future Broadway star Donna Murphy. After college Faderman brought his one-man show to the 13th Street Theatre. There he performed in rotation with brother Theodore. He also starred in the theatre's production of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, in which he played six roles. Soon he was performing stand-up comedy at various New York comedy clubs, most notably the comic strip and catch a rising star. It was during these years that he incorporated music into his act. He closed his sets by playing hard rock tunes from Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Iron Butterfly, and the Rolling Stones on his electric ukulele. Faderman made his national television debut on the syndicated stand-up program Comedy Tonight in 1986. He also appeared in two home videos, New Wave Comedy and the Dodge Comedy Showcase, Hollywood, 1987-2008. In 1987, Faderman moved to Los Angeles and began working at the Improv, IGB Wise, The Laugh Factory, and the Comedy and Magic Club. He taped a series of televised stand-up performances, including an evening at the Improv, George Schlatter's Comedy Club, CBS Morning Show, Two Drink Minimum, Star Search, Good Times Cafe, The A-List, and MTV One Half Hour Comedy Hour. He toured extensively, performing at over 200 colleges. He co-founded the improvisational group No Fat Guy with Mark Rader, Scott LaRose, and Steve Heitner, and later briefly formed a music comedy team with Jordan Brady. Faderman began booking television commercials and appeared in dozens of national spots for clients, including Eureka Vacuums, Holiday Inn, U.S., Navy, Wendy's, Taboo, Eagle Cars, McDonald's, Glad Bags, Sprite, Total Raisin and Bran, Ford, U.S., Olympic Team, Suzuki Samurai, Sizzler, Del Monte, U.S., Cellular, Cause, and 7 to 11. He gained some prominence as the first, not exactly, guy in the long-running Hertz Rent-A-Car campaign. Faderman began landing small television parts on Baywatch, Amen, Dear John, A Different World, Duger Hauser, and News Radio. He had recurring roles on L.A., Law and Living Single. In 1992, Faderman made his debut on The Tonight Show and has subsequently appeared many times on the program. He also appeared on Late Fridays, Comedy Showcase, and Premium Blend. In 2004, he taped his own one-half-hour stand-up special for the series, Comedy Central Presents. 
In 1998, Wayne appeared as Larry Sanders' brother Stan, and was later reunited with Gary Shandling on the X-Files episode, Hollywood A.D. Written and directed by David Duchovny, the creative episode followed Wayne Faderman, a Hollywood producer, writer and college friend of assistant FBI director Walter Skinner. Television led Wayne to film roles in Jack Frost, Dill Scallion, Legally Blonde, Fifty First Dates, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, The Forty-Year-Old Virgin, Unaccompanied Minors, Knocked Up, Step Brothers, and Funny People. In 2006, Faderman landed the recurring role of Johnson on the short-lived CBS sitcom Courting Alex. He co-wrote and starred in Max and Josh, a short film that premiered at the 2006 Sundance Film Festival, where it won the Volkswagen Relentless Drive Award. Beginning in 2007, Faderman wrote, produced, and hosted an annual holiday variety show entitled Day Very Faderman Christmas at the Los Angeles nightclub Largo. Guests included Paul F. Tompkins, Kevin Neilon, John Hamm, Dana Gould, Sarah Silverman, Mary Lynn Rajskab, Sam Levine, Margaret Cho, Greg Behrens, Willie Garson, Paul Williams, Matt Besser, John C. Riley, and Andrew Daly. Voiceover work in 1990, while shooting a television commercial campaign for McDonald's, Faderman recorded a series of tie-in radio commercials. This launched his voice over career. Since then his distinctive voice has been heard on hundreds of radio and television spots. He was the voice of the talking ham and cheese sandwich in the long-running Florida Orange Juice campaign. He also provided voices for the animated series The Wild Thornberries, King of the Hill, and American Dad, as well as the voice of Cartoon Cartoon Friday on the Cartoon Network. In 2007, Faderman voiced a series of Labatt beer commercials, portraying a fish, a dare, a boulder, and slab of ice. This ad was eventually pulled and re-edited when viewers complained of the implied vulgarity. In 2015, Faderman voiced a camel in a Geico insurance commercial. The Pete Maravich Project in 2000, Faderman began co-authoring a new, authorized biography of NBA basketball legend Pete Maravich. Working closely with the Maravich family, the book Maravich was released on January 3, 2007. It became an Amazon sports bestseller. In 2000, Faderman was interviewed for, and served as senior consultant on, the Emmy award-winning CBS sports documentary, Pistol Pete, The Life and Times of Pete Maravich. He was also featured on ESPN Sports Century, Pete Maravich. In 2007, Faderman edited a highlight montage entitled The Ultimate Pistol Pete Maravich Mix. This a mixture of clips from Maravich's college and pro career was posted on YouTube, Yahoo Video, and Google Video. It garnered over 1 million hits in its first month, and featured in both Sports Illustrated and Dime magazines. Music and composing in the 1990s Faderman was a founding member of the group Truck Stop Harry's, along with Tudor Sherrard and Matthew Porretta. Faderman co-wrote several songs for the film Dill Scallion. Faderman was the music director and keyboardist for Maria Bamford's critically acclaimed The Special Special Special, New York City. 2009-2010 In 2009, Faderman moved to New York to help launch NBC's Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. He was the show's head monologue writer in its first season, and left in January 2010. On April 20, 2010, Faderman unearthed a long-lost live episode of the General Electric Theatre while working on a television retrospective for the Reagan Centennial Celebration. The episode, from December 1954, was noteworthy because it teamed Ronald Reagan with James Dean. Highlights were broadcast on the CBS Evening News, NBC Nightly News, and Good Morning America. In July 2010, Faderman was part of the last comedians to tour and perform for U.S.
combat troops throughout Iraq during Operation Iraqi Freedom. One of Faderman's stand-up jokes about Woody Allen was voted the no for joke of the year in 2010 by a survey in the New York Post. Hollywood. 2010 present in June 2011, Faderman headlined the Ukulele Festival of Great Britain along with James Hill. In November 2011, an article Faderman wrote about Ronald Reagan's pivotal role in establishing residual payments for film actors was published in The Atlantic. January 2012 saw the launch of the annual Wayne Faderman International Film Festival featuring comedians screening the movies they love. Participants included Paul F. Tompkins, Gary Shandling, Andy Kindler, Kevin Pollock, Margaret Cho, Doug Benson, Bill Burr, Will Forte, Sasha Baron Cohen, Chris Hardwick, Lauren Lapkus, Kathy Griffin, Dana Gould, Aziz Ansari, Jeff Garland, and Sarah Silverman. In 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015, Faderman co-wrote the Independent Spirit Awards, hosted by Seth Rogen, Andy Samberg, Patton Oswalt, and the team of Fred Armisen and Kristen Bell, respectively. Faderman received two Writers Guild of America Award nominations for his work. Podcasting Faderman has guested on over 50 podcasts, including Comedy Bang, Bang, The Nerdist Podcast, Never Not Funny, Doug Loves Movies, You Made It Weird, The Adam Carolla Show, Fitz Dog Radio, Improv for Humans, Kevin Pollock Chat Show, and Sclabro Country. In 2015, Wayne began co-hosting his own podcast, Human Conversation, with Erin McGarthy, hosted by Feral Audio. Filmography, film and television television appearances, newsreaders, The Neighbors, American Dad, The League, Running Wild, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, Kathy Griffin, My Life on the D-List, Head Case, Wizards of Waverly Place, Heist. Courting Alex, Cheap Seats, Heist, King of the Hill, Comedy Central Presents, Oliver Bean, The Late Late Show with Craig Kilborn, Late Friday, The Sports List, Make Me Laugh, The New Adventures of Robin Hood, Don't Quit Your Day Job, Living Single, Almost Home, Doogie Howser, MD, A Different World, LA, Law, Baywatch, Dear Don, Comedy Tonight, Discography The Chronicles of Faderman Documentaries Pistol Pete The Life and Times of Pete Maravich ESPN Sports Century I Am Comic Eat, Drink, Laugh The Story of the Comic Strip I Am Road Comic Misery Loves Comedy Being Canadian